Well, early voting starts Wednesday for Beaver Lake residents. They'll be deciding on whether to pay an extra $75 each year to fund the Beaver Lake Fire Department. 4029's Katie Davidson joins us now live to show us what the department wants to do with that money. Katie? Craig, Beaver Lake voters voted last year to turn down a dues increase. And shortly after that, the fire department had to eliminate a firefighter position. It is a critical election because the uh, call volume has went up so drastically since 2011. In 2011, we ran 285 emergency calls. Uh, last year, we ran 548 emergency calls. Currently, the Beaver Lake Fire Department collects $214,000 from annual dues, money from the state, and a cell tower lease. This increase in funding would generate an extra $185,000. Nearly all of that uh, increase uh, funding would go to personnel costs. Our goal is to uh, put uh, up to two responders in the station 24 hours a day seven days a week. Voters rejected a plan to raise dues to $200 per year last year. This year, they're asking for an increase to $150 per year. Last year, when we failed uh, with a dues increase request, uh, we had to terminate our eight-hour firefighter position. While many residents have canvassed neighborhoods and hung up posters, another group of citizens is against the increase. This sign in a neighborhood in the area encourages people to vote no on July 11th. The website for Beaver Lake Area Citizens says they believe the department is mismanaging funds and they can do with the budget they already have. If the increase doesn't pass, the chief says more responsibility could be pushed off onto surrounding departments like the city of Rogers and Avoca. My main concern is the safety of our community and if uh, we don't have the volunteer resources to handle it nor the financial resources, my fear is that 911 calls might go unanswered. A special election is scheduled for July 11th, and early voting starts on Wednesday. Live at Beaver Lake, Katie Davidson, 4029 News. Okay, Katie.